Hey, Boston Swick is here with 2014's inaugural fantasy football blast. Now the season isn't underway yet, so there isn't too much to go over here just yet. However, we did have our draft, which opened up a few of you to some scrutiny. First off, let's talk about all the injured and suspended players that were drafted. Tony Bresco drafted Marvin Jones, who has a broken foot. Not a huge deal, he's a backup and he will be back. Swick drafted Sam Bradford, who apparently has an old dried up rubber band in his knee in place of his ACL. In Swick's defense though, Bradford was healthy when he drafted him, and he promptly watched Bradford shred his knee 30 seconds after he made the pick. And then John took a flyer on Josh Gordon, who may or may not be suspended this season. Although, they may not even suspend the guy, they may just keep waiting around and make him sit out the entire season, waiting to see if they want to decide to maybe, possibly suspend him for some amount of time, maybe. And it looks like Hemman spent two of his top five picks on dudes named Bell, and then later picked up a matching pair of Millers. Which leads me to believe that he really enjoyed watching that one guy from the Gladiator play that one guy from the Bible, Noah's Boat. I'm just saying he was trying to draft two of everything. Now I don't know who that butt is in this league, and I have tried and tried, but I just cannot figure out what this kid was trying to do with this draft. You see, he drafted the defense with his fifth pick, and the next D wasn't even taken until the ninth round. Then he went on and drafted a backup defense. A backup defense. This is a strategy only employed by two of the 12 members of this league. I know, I know. But come on, Boston Swickers. It's not like he could have used that pick for anything else, right? Wrong. You see, Butters only drafted one kicker, and that kicker is suspended for the first four weeks. No backup kicker, just a pathetic second defense sitting there, taking up a roster spot, backing up his fifth pick. Now, no valid kicker to be found anywhere on this roster. And now on to the flip side of terrible drafts, Phil Rock seemed to have his best draft since his league initiation. Not sure what changed there, but keep up the good work, kids. Okay, now on a sad note, apparently the footage from the first ever box punishment didn't turn out as planned. I was hoping to post some footage and relive that night over and over, but it just wasn't in the cards. Thanks for being such a good sport, TJ, and again, I'm sorry, guys. We'll try to get it next year. Nah, I'm just kidding. Of course we got the video. Enjoy. I'm friends with the monster, the son of my bed. Get along with the voices inside of my head. You're trying to save me. Stop holding your breath. And you think I'm crazy. Yeah, you think I'm crazy. Jay Clark to throw a TJ's stupid ugly face. I brought maple syrup, rotten eggs, rotten cottage cheese. Straight green nasty bologna and some chicken chops, take rotten potatoes, nasty shit like that. Aaron Swick, throw a DJ, I brought rotten tomatoes, rotten peaches, uh, rotten eggs, flour, and a two liter orange soda. TJ is going to be on the box and he's not going to be himself, so I brought him Smith. Dale Sotailing, I brought my leftover Chinese food. Greg Russell, I'm drafting for Greg Russell, and I didn't bring anything to throw at TJ. I'm Hawk, I'm drafting for Phil, so I don't feel like I should be throwing anything at TJ, so I'm not. My name's Tony, and I cook pasta, pickled herring, anchovy, marshmallow sauce, and cherries. Well, that's not fair! Josh, I didn't bring anything to throw. Yeah. Hey, Josh, I brought hot dogs. Mushroom, pickles, sour, Picked up the dog shit. Oh. Right there. Oh, yeah. dude. I was gonna get on my hands, but I'm just. You're unbelievable. <laughs>
You're so unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Oh my god, oh my god. Our neighbors are getting pissed. You're the worst fantasy football player ever! Oh my god. Next time.